Hey, hey, hey! It's me! Yep, it's me! Can you believe it? Can you believe the world we are in right now? Yeah. And actually, I'm not trying to be funny because I am pretty upset. I am pretty mad with where we are right now. I have to wear a hat and a glasses to protect from the ozone layer. I now have to wear a scarf to protect from what I breathe in. I have to drink bottled water. What else are we going to do? Where are we going, guys? Yeah, I'm not very happy about it. I was outside. I was at the lake visiting family. This is how I had to show up. What are we giving our attention to? What are we going to do? I am pretty upset. I do need the glasses no matter what. So come on in and join me and let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation about it. I am going to go a little woo tonight. We need to. We've got to. So I am streaming over here. Hey, Carla. Hey, Paul. Hey, Rare Active. Hey, Sunny. How are you? Come on in and join me. Share it out if you can. It looks like everything is streaming. Yes, 10-4. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream for my empowered sh <laughs> This is my live stream for my empowered spirit show podcast. This is where we come on, we talk about what's going on, and as you saw when I came in, I was all covered up. And yeah, I am a little bit upset about where we are, where humanity is, and I I'm I'm in there too. I I'm contributing to some of it too. And it's really an important time in humanity to really understand what we are doing. All right? This is a turning point. We know this, right? And we can look at it on the surface level. We can talk about it on the level of the virus. Or we could talk about what the bigger picture is, right? We really can. Thanks, Summer. All right, we looked at it last week, like the word corona. I talked about it on my podcast. I think I talked about my podcast on Saturday when it dropped. The word corona. The Latin word is crown. It's crown. It's our crown chakra. It's a way to open up now to the consciousness of who we are. It's the crown. We have that crown around the earth, around the universe, right? That corona. It's sick. It's an invisible virus that's coming to us, that's hitting us at a really high frequency. And this is also affecting us too right now. Our DNA is shifting. Our DNA is changing. So we're going to have to detox all of this out, but we're also going to have to figure out where are we putting our energy? Where are we putting our emphasis on what is important. That's what we really need to look at. Are we really going to go to where they're bottling air, where we breathe? We've already done it with the water. We've allowed this to happen. This is what's gotten to me to be upset. I've been out in the woods. Yesterday we did a hike today at the medicine wheel and just like talk to the trees. What's going on? So many huge trees are now down. We're seeing them chopped up by the side of the road. Life is changing. It always does change, but can't we at least have a little bit more consciousness about how we make these changes? Or do we want to be stuck in our home and living on technology? We're going to change. We're going to shift. Technology is going to change. The history of mankind has always been that. But I do feel the consciousness of where we are right now is going to make a difference of how we do it. All right, we've been talking about all this energy coming forward. We've been talking about it since January. The conjunction of Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn teaches us there are consequences to our actions. And that's where we are right now. Yesterday, we had a huge transit. Pluto and Jupiter coming together. One of the biggest ones. Really shaking things up. Really changing the control. So sometimes that can be a good thing. But how we come out of it. How we come out of it is what is really important right now. So much has been sick in our world for so long. The pollution. All right, our health systems, our educational systems, our economical system, the list goes on. And it all hit at once. <laughs> like in the blink of an eye, Mother Nature, here you go. Nobody was ready. Nobody was ready. And now we're all wondering, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So really the question is, what can you do? What can you do within your own self? Can you spend time with yourself? Can you ask these questions? Right? There is good to come out of this, but you got to go deep. We need to go deep, every one of us, and ask these questions. I was listening to many astrologers. If you have not listened to um, the Kepachi Report, Paul and I listen to it all the time. We laugh, but he has so much to say. The Paley Report, Google it on YouTube. Really amazing. Really good. Just amazing. Get out of the city. Look at these things going on. There's a lot moving forward. Check it out. Also, the astrologer, Alan White. I'll quote from him. He's like, Pluto makes big things small and small things big. So the virus and pandemics are ruled by Pluto. 
Jupiter magnifies whatever it touches. So all of this has been magnified. Pluto's the smallest. Jupiter is the biggest planet. All right. Jupiter and Pluto are coming together three times this year. Once was yesterday. So we're still into that energy. We had the portal energy yesterday as well. June 29th and November 12th. So we're going to start to see this build and go down. I think the original astrology I read said April 21st. So that pandemic is going to release. Then we're going to see it come back around because these planets are going to go into retrograde and then they're going to come back around and then we're going to see it the fall and the end of the year. They've been talking about the solstice of 2020 for a while now. So really, we have to examine where we are. We have to examine how much drama we're getting into. We have to figure out what is true for us. How much are you connecting with Mother Earth? Very important right now. I heard so much information from the trees yesterday. Just listening. Watch the growth pattern. See what happens. Dig your feet in. Really look at what's going on on the inside. Really very important. This Aquarius energy is going to come forward. The nodes are going to shift. Right now, the Chiron energy is sitting between the north and south nodes. Chiron is that wounded healer part of us. All right? Sitting between the nodes of Cancer and Capricorn is all about karma all about karma and if you really want to get to where this is hitting exactly in your life get an astrology reading mandy ray recommender mandy ray armand diaz in new york dr teja vedic astrology there's some other people too but i just had my own charts updated with mandy ray this week and know where it is hitting in your life and that's going to help you understand what you need to look at and the karmic lessons going on we're working through the karmic lessons so that we can move into a new future now it's going to shift and we're going to bring into some of that Aquarius energy, which is going to help us push forward, but we have to do the work first. And that's exactly where we are as we move through this week. Exactly where we are. That energy that came in yesterday, that portal of energy is pushing us to go deeper within our own selves. Our DNA is changing. How can we work with this? How can you also work with the vibration of the electronic magnetic fields coming in? Crystals, 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 crystals around all those electromagnetic places in your home, your computer, your crystals, put them around, put them out, put them outside. All right, we really need to really help us to do that. And also too, join the meditations. There's so many global meditations going around today. Find one, find two, find three, or just meditate on your own, but feel that connection. Because again, it is an invisible field of energy. And if we can magnify that field, just in the same way the virus is magnifying in our lives, we can raise above it. We can raise to that higher vibration. And that's where we get woo. As we lift our vibration and connect with all these people all over the world doing, that, doing these meditations, it will help. Maybe you don't feel it right away. But one, you won't feel so isolated. You can connect into a population like yourself. Two, it's going to raise a vibration. All right, read some of the work of, of Dr. Hawkins. Read his work. This is what helps. Listen to Marion Williamson. Listen to some of these spiritual teachers that are going to help you open up. Been doing the 21 day, I um, was put into a group to do the 21 day abundance with Deepak. And he's talking about the infinite potential is inside your soul. That was our meditation today. Deep within me is that infinite potential, all that abundant possibility. But if we're searching out there and we're going out there and we're staying in fear, it's not going to do it anymore. Our money system is going to change. Everything is going to change. So what can you do to make that shift? What can you do to find a more peaceful way of living versus being in the fear, being in the stress, trying to do things the old way? What can you do? Those are the questions now to ask yourself. Sit with yourselves in the morning. Turn off the TV. Turn off the news a little sooner. Check a little. That's okay. That's fine. Because we are seeing, we're listening to it tonight on the way home. It's like we're listening and seeing that New York is trying to reach that apex. It's spreading out to Long Island. Now they're trying to wonder if the, the apex will stay here or if it'll immediately go down. We heard too, Washington State was sending back all those ventilators. Good news. But don't let all this pass by and be in fear the whole time and wonder. Do some work within your soul. Do some work within your soul. There's so many modalities out there. Whether it's Reiki or emotional freedom technique or just breathing or doing some yoga or being outside and doing some earthing with the earth, picking those herbs, do some work with yourself. Make some journal entries. Notice where it is for you. That's that Saturn energy. Be responsible for your own healing right now. 
And that's emotional healing, mental healing, spiritual healing, all that work. Now we're moving into a full moon. All this energy, you can tell I'm wrapped up. All this energy, look at the moon. We already saw the moon rising tonight. It's going to be a beautiful full moon. It will move into Libra. It comes in late Tuesday night into Wednesday. But the magnification of your emotional energy is going to be strong. It is. But I find that that, imagine it, that, uh, that, that exaggeration of the emotional energy helps define your spirit. Go into it. Do a ceremony. Light a fire. Do a cacao ceremony. Do a crystal ceremony. Whatever it is for you, this will help you go into your spirit. And this will help you to really, really work out some of those things that you haven't been so happy about. What is consciousness for you? That was one of the questions we were asked in the meditation group. What is consciousness? What does it mean? How do you feel when you tap into it? What does that feel like? These are the questions to ask yourself right now. What lights you up? What do you want to change as you come back into it? These are the things that you can do right now because it is a long process and we're going to be going through this all year. But there are many ways that you can tune into it to help yourself rise above it. Very important. All right. What shifts can you start? It's like the shift and the change has to be done tomorrow. I know I've been seeing everybody jumping online, trying to hurry up, hurry up. Hurry. We can slow down, y'all. We can slow down. We can find ways to bring this in. Get your crystals out. Do some practical spirituality. You've been talking about it. Washing your hands. How many have adopted that? Take a moment. Deep breathe. Send prayers out into the world. I ran into somebody today whose brother died of the virus. She can't go see him. And I couldn't go hug her. That was sad. I had to send energy and just tell her how much my heart hurt. At least I could do that, but it was still sad. So wash your hands. Take a moment of prayer. I was talking to Laura Guthrie. She'll be on the podcast. Make a ritual out of drinking your tea. I said, I'm guilty of this. I pour it in my cup, take off in my car, and there I go drinking a tea where maybe if I just sat for a few minutes, the herbs that are in the tea could talk to my body better. We can slow down right now. All that commuting time, use it for something worthwhile. Right. Venture into your unconscious fears. Venture into what your needs and your desires are. Venture into your dreams right now. Look a little deeper and really embrace the change. All right? Try to rise above the fear and panic. All right? It's easy to do. Get caught in it. But try to set that aside and ask, in a bigger scheme of things, what is Mother Earth asking us to do? Those are the things we need to ask. So as you move through this week, Everything has changed. Maybe you're getting used to it a little bit better, so maybe it's a little easier, and then things will change again. So nothing is permanent right now, all right? My daughter said the main word right now, she's been here and everywhere, is fluid. Where can you be fluid right now? Where can you find those moments of practical spirituality in your life? Where is your mind? Where is your mindset? Jackie, hey, I see Jackie just came on. Jackie's going to be on the podcast again, too. We're going to get her back on. Talk about our mindset. It's time to react. Fluid, yes, definitely. It's time to, it's time to not react. That's not what I meant. It's time to make a different response to things, to find that place of center, to set a mindset that can help you look at this in a different light. Some of the disease, the coronavirus disease part, the sickness is becoming monitored, is becoming under control, but there are bigger issues going on. Be strong. Take some time to breathe. Take some time to speak up for who you are and what you do want to see going on. Really important. All right? Really important. As you go through this full moon, it's going to be out there. It's going to be big. And it can remind you of the light within your own soul. And it's the spirit, the energy, the vibration with which you want to project each and every day that's going to make a difference. These are the moments we have spiritually, mentally, and emotionally prepared for. Yes, yes, Jackie, I so agree. I so agree. And when we get out of the fear and get out of the panic, we go deep into our soul. And some of us have to work a little harder to get there because we're on that beta path of the mind, the mind, the mind, the mind. But when we can calm down and slow down, we can open up to a bigger part of where we are. Definitely. So, yeah, I don't want to have to wear the hat and the glasses and the mask. I don't want to have to always drink bottled water. I want to get back to the elements. What about you? What about you? All right. 
got a lot of that Mars energy coming. We've got it moving into Saturn. That's reorganizing everything. We've got the Jupiter, the Pluto. All of that energy is really hitting us big time. And that vibration is coming in. So lifting your vibration right now is really, really important. Connecting with others, doing the meditations, really aligning that energy. All right? So let's just take all this in. Take a moment to do just that. To relax and to calm and to open up to where we are. All right? So wherever you are, if you can, take a moment with me. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Wherever you are, if you can, take a moment. Just close your eyes. Deeply breathe. Bring that breath all the way up the body. And exhale, sending it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Opening up that vertical channel. That's the Sushinya channel. That's your energy. Open it up. As you breathe from Mother Earth, through the crown, into the higher realms. And exhale, send it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling. And exhaling. Take a moment. Feel yourself very present. Call in your spiritual body, aligning it right on top of the physical body. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Feel that center. Call in your higher guidance. Call it in. The wisdom of your soul. Feel that connection. Dropping into the heart. Inhaling. And exhaling. As we're in the medicine wheel today, facing that direction of the east, where the energy of spring lies. Everything was so green. This is the season to plant new seeds. What are those seeds? Physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, what are those new seeds for you? The sun rises every day. We will move through this. But who do we want to give our control over to? How about yourself right now? And so we call in the directions for guidance and protection. To the east, the south, the west, and the north, above us, below us, right into the very center. Calling in. Setting an intention for this week for yourself, right into that third eye center. See it. Know it. Trust it. And notice, as these intentions come in for you, how will you feel? And let those elevated emotions arise, the peace, the joy, the gratitude, the abundance, whatever it is for you. And let it radiate out to a higher vibration to move you through. Release the attachments. And just let that energy radiate out, guiding you along this week. Let's just take one more moment and call in the healing guides. And allow the healing guides to move through, setting the space for all of us. Clear away the fear. Clear away the anxiety. Just for today, as we say with Reiki, just for today. Let it clear the field. Imagine now beautiful golden light coming in, shining the auric field, clearing away anything that doesn't really feel good anymore for you. Allow that golden light to lift your vibration. Imagine, pretend, visualize this golden light all around. Take a deep inhale, sending Reiki out as well. Finding that courage and strength within you to move forward as you become present with this energy for yourself and let these intentions guide you all for the higher good. Take a deep inhale and exhale. 
Thank you to the guides. Feel yourself coming back, grounding, staying in this nice light if you can. Inhaling. And exhaling, calming down. Notice how you feel. Good. Okay. So we look to the cards. I drew from the Wild and Nun. I also drew from the Shaman cards because I've been getting so many messages from Mother Earth. I wanted to share the energy of the Earth as well. So with the Wild Unknown, the first card that we drew was the Daughter of Pentacles. So this is all about trust. This is all about trust, how you can put your work out there, trusting those deeper messages for who you are. All right, trusting that you can. Pentacles is our earth. The daughter energy is some of that innocence. The rainbow is all up here. This is all about trusting a way in which you can work now. All right, everything is shifting and changing. All right, the, this is like a little fragile energy, like the legs are a little wobbly, and we all feel that right now. But where can you trust in your own work right now? That is for the higher good. That is that rainbow of light. Go here. Great card for right now. Go into this energy. It's okay to have a little bit of wobbleness right now, uncertainty. It's okay. But that will lead to that trust within you. If you chose card number one, all right, several people did. This is that there is healing going on, but this is healing of the mind. And so if we look to some of that karmic energy and the Chiron energy, right, that's like healing of the mind where you've been hurt. The healing of the mind that you keep churning and churning, this is what we kind of need to let go of. So ask yourself, what healing have I moved through long enough that I am done with? That's that south node energy in Capricorn. What can you be done with? And let that be done. Tap it out. Breathe it out. Do a ceremony, something. Don't want to carry this forward. All right, whatever it is for you, and we all have different things. And lots of times that Chiron energy, that healing energy is your way forward, is your experience that can help others. That's where we want to be. That goes into the higher directions. And the card that comes right up next to it too, this is the Father of Wands. What is your passion? What is the action you can take that's going to shift you? Look at that lightning bolt. All right, we had, I think, the mother of wands not too long ago. If you think the mother was somebody to deal with, the father of wands is nothing to be reckoned with. And when we go inside our spirit and we go inside that energy for us, that's the energy to come forward with. Know your consciousness. That is what this card is about. The wand is our passions, desires. I also like to look at a spirituality. Know your spirit. Stand up for it. That's like tonight. It's like, okay, I'm tired of not talking woo. I'm tired of not talking vibration. We need this. We need this now. So as you go in deeper, bring this forward for yourself. These are like family issues. These are energy issues coming forward that you can release. And then we have the two of swords. This is card number three. All right, what do we have here? We have the corona. We have the corona right there. We've got this mental block going on right now that's keeping us from doing anything we want to do. This is the corona for you to clear away. And maybe you don't get the virus, thank goodness if you don't, but maybe there's another virus inside of you right now that needs clearing. Symbolically. Where can these swords start to uncross for you? This is our mental plane. This is our mind. This is what takes us into the holes of which we create. What can shine through with that crown energy? Crown is our spirituality. Crown is opening up into the higher dimensions. We are moving into the, the higher dimensions. Our DNA is shifting. We are shifting. It doesn't feel good. And no, none of us want to go through this. I thought, you know, age of Aquarius, hippies, we'll just kind of float into it. Peace, love. Didn't happen that way, did it? There was too much going on that we have not dealt with. So where can you look to your own mind, your own distress? This is where we block ourselves. This is, I guess, I know, I yes, no, yes, can, no, not. All of that mineral chatter. Clear it out. Because when we all do, there was no major arcana. So when we all do, you can be the magician. Drew the magician. Get control of each of these elements, which is the fire, the air, the earth, the water, the mind, the emotions, the spirit the physical body, however you want to look at it, get in touch with all these elements because you are the magician of your life. And as you become the magician of your life, guess what? 
You shine the light for everybody around you to do the same. But if I stay in doubt, then he's in doubt and she's in doubt and they're in doubt and they're in fear and they're... Come on, guys, we can do this. We have, Jackie said it, the moments we have been waiting for to make this shift and change, but we all have to do it. And I know we're isolated, but there's so many ways now to join in vibration. You don't have to be isolated to do it. All right, just because we're physically distanced, we can be spiritually connected. Good way to look at it. I said I wanted to draw a shaman card, the wild woman. I had to laugh because this was one of my favorite cards last summer. But you know what she's telling us? Shine your light, baby. Okay, there you go, Kapacha. I sound like you. Shine your light. What is it inside of you that wants to come forward? Where can you be wild? Yes, I was thinking about that today with all those things covered up and out there looking at the different herbs. Where can you be wild and bring forward what really matters? What really matters? Look who's being essential right now. What really matters in the scheme of life right now? Who do you want to give your power over to? And we as a collective consciousness, those of you in this group, those of you that come on with me, we are in that collective consciousness that can make a shift. We have to join in. We have to magnify the vibration and clear away the other. That is it. So yes, there are some really innocent young cards tonight that are going to help us go deep. It's okay to feel frail as we stand up on new feet. It's okay. But know what it is that your earth is calling for you. Feet in the ground. Feet in the ground. Healing is needed. Mind healing. This is of the mind. You know, we see the red. It reminds us of the heart. This is like of the mind. This is of that karmic energy that you've been carrying and carrying and carrying and carrying. Be done. Cut those cords. All right? And then find that passion. Lightning bolt. Aha! Yes. Stand your ground. For the work that we do, stand your ground. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. I am talking about it. I am still reaching out. I just put in a grant for Reiki. Come on, we need to do this. Fingers crossed for me. Let's do it. Let's get that money. I'll share it. All right? Where is that indecision within you? Where is that mental chatter? What does the corona mean for you? It's more than just a virus for sickness. And then be a magician to your life. Pull these energy together. Know what your consciousness is. And be that magician to manifest. We can do this. We can make these changes. And those of us that are joining in this force, we will see it. We'll come through in a whole different way and help others to do the same. All right. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. My passion is alive. It's full of fire. I've been sitting quietly. I've been out on the earth. I've had my own issues with breathing in the pollen, having to deal with that as well. But these are the changes and the things we need to do. All right, and what is it for you? Hey, Lara, I talked about our practical spirituality with a cup of tea. Thanks for joining me. All right, guys, so I'm pretty much still in my same routine. I'm still trying to do my work online. Birmingham Yoga, Wednesday night at 530. If you do sign up, a link will be given. It's in that email. All right, Birmingham Yoga has a pay what you can. All right, if you do sign up, come. Even if you don't pay, don't just not show up, all right? And then practice works, Reiki Circle this Friday. All right, they're kind of limiting. I might just do it for free so that we can still do it. So whichever one you can do, I don't know. Please join in. I'm trying to keep them supported too. Support your local people. Really, really important. I've, done, I've kind of cut my, some of my prices in half. If you need some spiritual counseling, book a session with me. Let's get this going. Let's help each other. All right, new podcast this past week. Talking with, who did I talk to? Oh, I talked about saying yes to life. Elliot Robertson. All right, so even at a time like this, we need to find the things that make us joyous and happy. Really good. We talk about how important it is for right now. All right, I do believe Tina from the Intuitive Women is going to join us in the Empowered Spirit Circle Wednesday at noon. All right, we're trying to figure out what her intuitive abilities can help us with. If you have any suggestions, come on over into the Intuitive, into the, uh, Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook and join us on Wednesday at noon. I will be live tomorrow morning tapping. All right, tapping it away in the group. Motivation Monday. Get that tapping going. Set that mindset around 8 o'clock. All right, let's take a nice deep breath. Kate, a card. Who else? Card, please. Summer. Summer, thanks. I love you too, my dear. All right, here you go, Kate. Ace of Wands, Kate. New idea, new passion, new desire. Look at that. It's a beautiful card. It's a beautiful card to go forward with. Go deep. Go into the passions. Look at the fire coming forward for you. What is it, woman? What is it you want to see change in your life? Great. 
All right, Summer over here back on Instagram. Summer, this is a nine of swords. It's all of the mind, all that chaotic energy. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, even though it seems chaotic, there is some rhythm to it. Let it go. There's a little bit more that's going to come up for you. You know what I mean? And then it's going to move itself through. Stay strong in what you do. Notice your minds. I know you've been doing your work, so just notice your mind. All right, don't get caught in the drama. That's exactly what this card is for you. Don't get caught in the drama. Keep reminding yourself to pull back to normal. There's a little bit more, and then you're going to see it's going to clear out, okay? Let me know how that fits for you, all right? All right, Maris. Stay. <laughs> it's not a dog. All right, Maris, this one is for you. All right, so Maris, this one is the Four of Pentacles. So this is like things are holding together, all right? I know you may not feel that. I know, poor thing, your bike got stolen. How could people be so mean? I just don't get it, all right? So the thing that this always reminds me of when it comes for is Pentacles is the earth, all right? We have this kind of connection here with each other and everything. There's that infinity. The only thing is don't hold on too tight, and you're doing a really good job about being fluid. This is a good one to remind you fluid. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep walking your walks. Keep going through your routine. Keep that energy moving. This is confirmation that you are doing it, okay? Good one for you. All right. Ray, son of pentacles. All right, so this kind of goes with our woman, our, our daughter of pentacles, but this is a son. So sometimes it tells us, like, be sure don't to be too tunnel focused. It's good to be, like, detail, but lift up every once in a while. Look at what you're creating. This is of the earth. All right, trust. All right, good one for you too. All right, Son of Pentacles is creating as well. All right, Jackie. Good card for you, Jackie. This is the Nine of Wands. This is building and doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. It's working. Trust that it's working. Trust keeps coming up. Look at the steps. Leading you up, passion and desire. Trust your intuition. It's a nine. There's more coming in for you, so just keep building your craft. You're doing a great job. I love all your posts. You're doing a great job. Excellent. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? All right. Sunshine says, beautiful. It'll be over later. Excellent. All right. Millie, a card. Hey, Shad. Good to see you, too. All right. Here you go, Millie. This one is for you. Daughter of Wands. All right. This is also that passion and desire. Look at things are shifting and changing. So even in the state we're in, you're growing and you're learning. This is some of that daughter innocence that we can have. One is your passion and desire. Keep doing what you're doing. I loved your, your tree pictures. They were great, Millie. They were really great to see. Look at the blooms. Look at that infinite potential. Keep trusting, trusting, trusting. Very important. Very, very important. All right. Shad, a card for you. Excellent. Working on illustrating my April intentions. Yay. While tuning in with you and everyone. Excellent, 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 Jackie. Are you doing your open center? Are you going to do it live? Let us know. We'll post it. All right. Shad, five of swords. All right. Five of Swords is where are you cutting yourself off right now? Look, at, it's almost like an earthworm cut in half. Yes, the parts will grow, but this is of the mental plane as well. Fives are all about change. So don't self-sabotage. This always reminds me of self-sabotage. All right, go a little deeper. Let go of the parts. It's a good idea to let go of what's not working so the newer parts can grow. Five is change. All right, just kind of a confirmation of where we all are right now. Careful of your mental thoughts. Anytime that one comes up, it's watch those mental thoughts, okay? All right. Thank you. We'll do. Hope you're doing well. Thanks, Kate. I miss seeing you. All right. Millie says, thanks. All right. Freeze. I didn't draw a card for you. How are you? How's your daughter? All right. I got the eight of pentacles. This is like doing your craft, building that web, being the details in there, bringing that beautiful, intricate patterns of your life forward. All right. Really nice card. I always love this card. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. Building those skills. I do love it. All right. Loving Cali life. All right. All right, if I missed anybody, let me know. I'm looking back through. Guys, be passionate about the world we live in. We need to take care of the things that matter most. We really do. We really, really do. So take some time for yourself. Look at that full moon. See where you are. Gratitude, 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 gratitude for all the many blessings that you already do have. Gratitude is an ascending emotion. It will lift you up. Check out the online classes being offered. Please come in and join me. It's a great way even just to calm down. All right. Come join me over in the Empowered Spirit Circle tomorrow at 8 a.m. 
no cost just come join us be a part of the raising the vibration you don't have to be isolated you can connect spiritually with others all right so let's just take a nice deep inhale and exhale Let's see if i missed somebody a new comment all right we close off before we close carla one for you you're always around let me give you a card i missed you daughter of swords all right, so this is some of that innocent energy here. This is telling you to be a little bit pickier with your thoughts, all right? Don't get all over the place. Notice what you're paying attention to. All right, wise owl is smart. So be smart in what you're thinking, okay? Don't get all over the place. Be a little pickier about what you're listening to right now and what you're thinking, all right? All right, good. I didn't want to forget anybody. I know you were here right at the beginning. Anybody else? And we're going to close it down. Did I miss anybody? fluid yes we're going to remember to be fluid all right nothing lasts forever and this won't either be in control of how you want yourself to come out of it take time for you take a nice deep inhale and exhale thank you guys so much for joining me this is your host terry and hyman to your spirit have a great week stay strong trust in your spirit namaste